guys and welcome back to another video and today we will be looking at a scenario where UK forms an empire now the UK has formed uh, a bunch of different empires over the history of years but we'll be looking at a scenario where they form an empire again in 2023 now guys look bing bong yeah, it just turned black. I know. That's kind of sad. So, I will be extra careful to not make that happen in this video so it won't turn black. Okay, let's just get straight into the video. So, their first target is Ireland. Uh, they want the, the islands because they're like, hey, you. And they're like, yeah, you. Do you want to be a part of my empire? And they're like, no, but they don't have time to react because... It's the UK. So, yeah. um, They don't have time to react, and they immediately push in. Cap that was quick. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's the UK now. Let's just get on to the interesting wars now, because we like interesting stuff. Now, I have to say something. The UK, the UK, all the U, um, all the NATO, UN, U, e, U, e, all those alliances are resolved in this universe. So don't worry about that because NATO wouldn't get involved in this scenario. Okay. So we immediately see, um, um, British troops crossing the British Channel and they start slaking, um, sl I mean, slithering down and capturing these mountains i don't know why they would want it paris is like right there they want paris that's what they really want and they also want land so they start pushing up well the um the french get themselves together um they are gonna get themselves together in a different video wink wink um you probably have no clue who I'm, what i'm talking about but yeah they do have um full control of britney france which is pretty nice. Um, they just want to make a bunch of naval landings as possible to um, make advancements across. So yeah, they w and they're starting. They start connecting all those things and now say goodbye to their coast. They want to slither them up and complete. To co oh my gosh, to completely make them landlocked and so they do. Now, uh, oh, uh, yeah. So it looks like the UK is doing pretty good in this scenario, but yeah, not for long. We see France trying to break out, and then they spend, no, they don't spend, they send special operations into the UK. That's, that's, that's not good. Um, they take the city of London, they take all of this, and they are forced to withdraw every single troop straight out of France. So they completely leave France, and they're like, no, no, no. And France is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They completely take back Wales and all these peeps. But they do really heavily protect London, the city. But they can't hold on to it for very long, and it gets completely captured. Going down towards here, we see um, UK trying to gain um, naval superiority of France. It's going pretty well. They're making a bunch of naval landings. They start connecting all of those naval things, and now they just have this one Brittany-France thing. And they take Paris. Um, that was quick. And now they're like, wait, what? No, 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 no. Not going to happen. Not today, Spaghetti Face. So um, they start pushing back. But now they slowly but surely start edging towards the city. And stalemate time. Yeah, they really can't make it much more into uh there but now they start um they do a successful spearhead 
And now that's not good. They're pretty dead now. Um, they start making naval landings all across, slithering down once again, completely trying to make it inner landlocked. And yeah, okay. Now one side of France starts to surrender, while the other side wants to hold off. But that doesn't go as planned for them, because yeah, they start moving in, and now they just have the Eiffel Tower to take, and they take the Eiffel Tower, and boom! We have UK winning the war. Now remember, the UK is severely buffed in this scenario, so don't worry that, yeah, um, thing. See you guys after the peace treaty. Looking at the peace treaty here, we can see that France gets a lot of valuable land taken away from them. Like if we go back a bit, we could see that France had all of that. Well, not all of that. Well, they had all of this. But now... Ah! Okay, sorry, I had to redraw the borders. But now we can see the UK is really expanding. I just messed with my OBS. But now we can see the UK is expanding and now their next target is, well, you can say what provenally flow. Okay, um, that's, God, let's get straight into the scenario. So we see, um, even though they are the attacker in this scenario, they're going against so many other countries. But soon, they do push them back, and now they're like, okay, my turn. They take all of Luxem They take all of Luxembourg. They, yeah, they take all of Luxembourg, Belgium. They take. I know that name. I know that name. Do not yell at me. I know that name. <gasps> I uh, Remind me in the comments. But they do take all of Denmark. They're just, yeah, this is, but this is like four months into the future. So they slowly but surely, very, very, very slowly but surely, start threatening their capital, Berlin. And now we just have um, guerrilla warfare tactics happening. Um, we have Czechia completely just like surrendering because they knew they won't they won't make it out alive. And yeah, this is a very 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 fast war, so let's make it longer. Um, we have the Germans sweeping through the British because this this is really undefended spot of um the they're just undefending all of this they're on they're not really defending um these countries so they sneak up the edge trying to push out all but now we have stalemates and nothing really happens but we do see blue team make a little front line in france and actually uh Denmark does make a little bit of an advancement into the U mainland UK, but now we have UK's turn. We have UK completely pushing out these front lines and then breaking the stalemate a lot. And now they have a big front line. We're really coming back for Denmark, taking all these islands, because. Island! <laughs> yeah, they, um. Just really, really, really going all out. Completely takes Denmark and sneaking up to Czechia. Czechia barely holds on. Oh, Czechia did not hold on. But we have stalemate. Nobody can make gains. And who's going to break through that stalemate, you may ask? Germany. We have Germany completely destroying the stalemate. And kind of like destroying the British too, because they're completely encircled over here. And now the only thing they have is Denmark, which is 
pretty simple. And now we have um, skirmishes happening between these countries, and we have a big blow to the UK. Some Scandinavian countries wants to... Why did I say wants to... Um, gets in on this war. Because... Yeah, okay, so that's really, really, really not good for the UK, but something that is good for the UK, they take all the populated areas of Norway. Because they honestly, in this scenario, they knew Norway was going to join us because in this universe, they had bad tensions. So, you're like, no, 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 I'm going to, you know, maybe set up some troops in your country and they're like no no sir and then they join um the blue team and also we see um iceland joining the blue team do not know why because they don't have an army but sure um we see germany breaking through this front we see germany breaking through this front line and we do see germany going up through norway i mean we see we see German and um, Denmark and troops um, push through and make a little naval landing on Norway, taking some populated areas back in Norway, but we do have a big skirmish going on. Beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop. Yeah, back and forth, back and forth. But then we do see British doing a bunch of guerrilla warfare and starts just completely taking the country. I did not mean to do that. Um, but they completely start just slithering up the mountains. And then Sweden's like, do not do that to my friend. Finland says the same thing. And yeah, we got... UK is kind of outmatched here really 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 outmatched here but uk is still able to fight them off because you know they got that buff from the beginning and they start they they take all of norway and s start pushing down and yeah this is like territorial peak for the british right now because they're they're doing great so they um make a little Naval landing in Denmark, completely doing that. And they get the cap. Which is not good for Sweden. Sweden just is like, um, I'm opting out. Thank you very much. But something we do see happening is Finland um, using their favorite friend called Winter. Winter has come, and... We see Norway barely being reestablished as a country. But yeah, um, they start slithering down here, recapturing some. Yeah, I don't know how this would work. They just like start recapturing it. Um, and honestly, the UK is not really focusing down here that much. They're really focusing on the front lines in um, mainland Europe down here. And also, by the way, they take Iceland because they don't have an army. Um, but they, this is a really big war. Um, so, yeah, that's the current wars in the scan. Current, well, ugh, current borders in the Scandinavian. But now we do see um, the UK breaking this front line. And for the 15th time, takes Belgium and Netherlands. I don't even know anymore. They re-establish Denmark once again, and they, like, they don't care anymore. They take Berlin, they take Germany, and now, yeah, um, they. I just want to do a quick scenario, just a quick little thing for that, because you know it's not that big of a deal. But we do see um, Sweden rejoining this war. So, yeah, um, I really quickly just, like, did that to Germany, but that's all right. Because, you know, this war has been going on for a quarter of the video. We're, um, 14 minutes in, and we're still in this war. 
So, um, they start pushing up into this, um, uh, wasteland of ice. And Sweden should have never joined, um, because they literally just, they joined right before, um, first of all, UK did all of this up here. And second of all, before they did all of this down here. So they joined the very wrong, wrong time. Oh, that's not the right brush. But they do sweep out and capture um, Finland. And then it's like, that Sweden's like, no, please, no. So that's a lot of territory UK just got away with. So I will see you after the peace treaty. Uh, looking at the peace treaty here, we can see that UK went mad man mode. They didn't care about any other country. Now, we, we, we will see some peeps uniting, like um, France and Germany and Czechia and whatever this is. The Switzerland, even though they're neutral. Um, Austria... And now we have, like, a big uh, union. And, yeah. Um, so, that will do it for what if UK formed an empire. Um, at the beginning of this video, I didn't really expect for the UK to go, ag go against the Scandinavian. But, yeah. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. Um, if you look out on the map, you could see how much the UK owns. Like, that's a lot. Like, if you put all that land into a little big glob, it could probably tower over some countries, especially Vatican and San Marino. You know what I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is do something, uh, ex uh yeah, okay. So, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, like for more, and I will see you all next time in another Empire video. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I, I have really no clue. But I will see you all in another one. Goodbye!